We have dreamed to do this trip for a very long time. For many years now, we've been witnessing the transformation the mountains and nature are undergoing due to climate change. Today, more than ever, the question we ask ourselves is what each of us can do to fight climate change, which behaviors we should have and which habits we should change. Even small actions can go a long way. That's why we decided to take on different behaviors in our everyday lives and to embark on this adventure. Traveling with an electric car from the middle of Europe towards the Arctic Circle, utilizing energy from renewable sources, sailing across the Norwegian islands, ski touring in pristine mountains. Reducing our carbon footprint is possible through our behaviors and new technologies. Foten. Siamo arrivati questa mattina all'alba, è stato abbastanza impegnativo il viaggio. Comunque oggi giornata dedicata all'esplorazione, dobbiamo cercare di capire quale montagna salire nei prossimi giorni, come sono le condizioni della neve, quali sono i canali più stabili, però è sempre bello tornare qui, soprattutto dopo tre anni. When we arrived in Lofoten, the snow conditions were not so great. The warmth of the past weeks and the sudden temperature drop created a very hard layer with the snow at relatively high altitude. Even at this latitude, climate change originates this phenomenon. Luckily, 48 hours later, a storm from the north brought 30 centimeters of fresh snow, giving the Lofoten Islands their unique magical look. And we were ready to explore! After a great day of skiing, we met our friend Christian Boe, owner of a sustainable lodge in Ballstadt. From tradition to future, building ecological buildings. This is like a challenge and a vision to uh, protect the environment and the ecosystems, which are very delicate here. Is this a challenge that we can win? Of course we can win, but we uh, have to, um, uh, to want it. So we have to uh, prepare for the new future. Swimming in the ice-cold water of the fjords is quite common in northern Norway. And I had to give it a try with our friend Vani. It was so cold, but so much fun. So 
here in uh, in uh, Balsta, we have uh, Fisherman Cottages, which is uh, uh, approximately 150, 170 years old. And with us at Hatvika Lodge is tradition. The most important thing we do here is tradition. So uh, it's about taking care of everything which we can take care of and then to wrap it in, in uh, modern uh, technology uh, for uh, better use of typical energy. Mm -hmm. uh, so when you do the installation process, uh, process right, uh, we use less um, energy yeah. and by that we are more sustainable. a huge uh, focus on leave no trace and this I think is the most important thing we can uh, teach our guests is to preserve uh, the beautiful nature. Yes. Uh, more and more people is coming to Lofoten, uh, more and more tracks are uh, made in the nature but by uh, guiding with uh, a focus on leave no trace mm -hmm. and, and, and to give the client, the guest, the opportunity of behaving in the nature, we are educated. Our friend Christian invited us to join him at Nusfjord, a typical small fisherman village with a tiny harbour and restaurant serving delicious fish soup the traditional Norwegian way. percentage are you able to use renewable energies here and do you have any objectives for the future? Electricity in Norway is by default clean. Yeah. Hydroelectricity is uh, the main source of electricity in, uh, in Norway. Uh, actually here in Lofoten we have uh, had some test pilots for sea wave mm -hmm. uh, electricity but it hasn't come to a production stage yet. For the new uh, green uh, wave, uh, we truly see an uh, increased use of uh, electric cars. Yeah. So we uh, have electric chargers 
for uh, electric cars, uh, which is powered by the, uh, the grid in Norway, which is mm -hmm. by default uh, green, uh, since it's produced by a hydroelectric. the locals, the locals like Christian and Fiona. We had such a great day exploring the local mountains around Ballstadt. This is great. Also, it's fascinating, like that you use everything. You just get it from the from the sea in front of the door, yeah. and then you use every part of the fish, yeah. and then it tastes delicious. <laughs> direction north to the next destination of our journey across Norway. After a quick stop in Gullfjord to charge the car and taste a typical Norwegian waffle with brown cheese, we get on the ferry. And we arrive to the beautiful island of Vanoi, 600 kilometers above the Arctic Circle. We have already driven almost 4,000 kilometers with no issues, always being able to charge the car with renewable energies. Ciao! Benvenuti alla fine del mondo! Grande! <laughs> Our friend Marco Rossi is an Italian sailor and explorer who lives on a remote corner of one of the remote islands of northern Norway, surrounded by reindeers. We met with Anna Goldhofer, a young female leader championing sustainability programs at BMW. So I think everyone should be a uh, ambassador for sustainability in their work. My vision for the future is a sustainable future, a future where future ca generations can still live on in a way that uh, they're going to be happy and live in peace and with all the resources that they need. And um, my vision is that we've found ways to establish that s a system where future generations can still live on. Everyone is looking at their carbon footprint in private life, but the impact when working on sustainable topics at work is really so much bigger. If you change something small in a big company, then you multiply it by the products produced. It's huge. It's a big impact, even though it's a small change. I think we gotta think more towards what's actually good for the planet and less towards what's less bad, because very often we talk about CO2 reduction and less waste, but really I think we need to, the vision must be bigger. The next day, despite the very strong snowfall, we are ready to go and set sail to explore the surrounding island.
quite challenging. With 30 knots wind gusts and pretty high waves, we managed to cross the ocean but get quite wet. It's windy, it's cold and we're soaked, but still smiling. Il molo con la neve. We dock in Kogen and after some snacks we go to the local fish market to get some fresh fish for tonight. able to get off the boat, put on our skis directly on the dock, crossing the road and starting our ski tour to reach the summit of the day is absolutely amazing. One of the most beautiful days of our lives, on a remote island on the Arctic, waiting for the sunset to draw a line on the untouched snow, with this magical light and reflections on the ocean. Truly one of the most spectacular skiing moments ever. We are so small in this wonderful, big world, yet our actions have a big impact. So much depends on us and on the actions we take. It is our responsibility to preserve this beautiful, unique environment for future generations.
comportamenti dell'uomo eh, per salvare il mare o per aiutare il mare non sono proprio i comportamenti che metti in atto in barca, ma sono quelli che dobbiamo mettere in atto noi nella vita di tutti i giorni. In most recent years, did you notice any improvements thanks to technologies in how people sail and spend time by the ocean? Fortunately, yes. Uh, especially in the northern countries of Europe, now they are working a lot uh, for especially hybrid system of uh, uh, powering the boats, also the fishing boats. They started with the hybrid system because this uh, sailboat, for example, is a, is a perfect uh, environment. Put an electric motor, a small generator, because the electric motor also works as a generator. While the boat sails, mm -hmm. the prop turns and the, the, the motor works also as a generator and charges the battery. C'è una call to action che potresti condividere con noi per ispirare gli altri a scegliere questo tipo di esplorazione? Di imparare a valutare il valore del tempo. È il tempo che oggi sei povero, non puoi essere ricco ma non hai il tempo per fare le cose, o tanto vale che non le fai, o tanto vale che non diventi ricco. E navigare a vela non è come su un gommone da 600 cavalli, ci stiamo mettendo ore a fare quello che un gommone ci mette un'ora, però eh, lo fai in modo molto in equilibrio con l'ambiente, abbiamo appena visto i delfini e, ed è, e ti dà il modo di apprezzare il tempo. Skiing down to the golden water of the ocean at sunset is a true highlight of our wonderful days exploring the island of the far north. Important actions are also taken by companies which invest into research and programs to create a better future. We connected with Maurizio Priano, who at Technica Blizzard is leading several projects around sustainability. I think, first of all, it's important to change uh, attitude from we must do something uh, to uh, we can do uh, something. Um, unfortunately, there is not uh, a recipe which is valid for everyone. Um, so it's important to understand what you can do and uh, understand, identify those actions that can make a greater impact. But be concrete, uh, measure each single step, uh, each uh, improvement of your process to make sure that not only you find your own way, but you are on the right way. Okay, third, is about change the mindset. From looking at innovation as a, a competitive advantage uh, to um, see that as an opportunity to share uh, the know-how um, and what you discover with others in order to make together a better future. We're back on the ground and with our electric car we drive to Senja, the second largest island of Norway, to meet our friend Jorgen Wong in the village of Torsken. Good, let's go. 
have a nice drive today? Yes. Fishing is one of the main activities in Norway. We met several local fishermen during our journey. Oh and in Torsken, we visited I, uh, a fisherman who owns a fleet of fish boats just next to our lodge. He told us about his life, totally dedicated to fishing, and about how difficult it is to pass down the passion for this job to younger generations. A job that is so demanding, but it also allows him to spend so much time on the water and to connect with nature. Thanks to Jürgen, we discovered the beautiful island of Senja, its culture and unique pointy mountains, so different from all other places we visited in Norway. The contrast between the emerald waters, the sharp peaks and the steep faces created truly surreal scenery. One of the most challenging ski tours of our trip, with very strong wind, white out, icy and hard snow, conditions that made it very difficult to skin up to the summit. But as often in Norway, we were rewarded with amazing views from the top when the sky cleared up and good snow in the couloirs. On the way back, sitting in the car, looking outside the window at the snowy mountains and their perfect reflection in the calm blue water of the fjord we drive by. Embracing our thoughts, trying to impress the beauty of these landscapes in our mind for the last time. Thinking back to all of the beautiful moments and the toughest ones, about the sun, about the wind, about the warm and the cold, the sunrises and the sunset the stars and the northern lights. We're so grateful for everything we're bringing back home with us. Experiences, emotions, learnings. All the humbling experiences while sailing rough waters and while hiking up mountains, facing the elements, going together with nature, not dominating it.
We're driving back inspired by the lessons we learned from local communities and from nature. Patience and resilience. And we're motivated to put these lessons into actions to become better humans and inhabitants of this planet.